Hi guys, it's Mario from thewoodfather.com and in today's video I'm very, very happy to announce that Fitit is finally available for purchase through my website. Here it is in all its glory. So if you don't know what Fitit is, it's basically a panel layout program which creates cut lists or cutting diagrams for you so that you can maximise the use of your wood and save money basically. Um, so far in that regard it's really been working out well for me and the testers. I've had a lot of good reports of how people have you know, cut back 15-20% of the wood that they were expecting to buy for a project. So I think it's really useful. Now Fit has been tested across Windows, Apple and Linux. So so long as you have Java installed you really shouldn't have any dramas. It should just run for you. Um, if you have any issues with it starting up just go and download the latest version of Java for your computer which you really should do anyway. If you're worried that it's not going to run on your computer or you just want to test it before you buy, if you head to my website, and I'll put a link down below, there's a trial version that you can download. So with the trial version, it's basically the same program except you can't open or save a layout. Um, you can only add a certain amount of panels and things like that. It's basically, if you can run the trial version, then you know that the full version is going to run as well. And it just gives you a little look at the, at the system and how it all works and everything. Okay, so here's Fit It, and I'm just going to add a few panels to it just to show you what it's like. Basically, if you want to add a panel, you've got this little floating toolbar that you can drag around. Top half all applies to panels, and the bottom half applies to sheet goods. And when I say sheet goods, that could be a sheet of plywood, a length of 2x4, or a board of cherry, whatever it may be. So let's say I wanted to make some draw faces, and I wanted them to be 500 wide by 200 high. I'm working in metric, but if I go up here, I can set units, and I could switch over and work in imperial units. But I work in metric, so that's what I'll stick with. Um, and let's say that I want to have the grain running horizontally on these panels. So what do we say here? Uh, 400 and we'll go by 200. We'll call it a draw face. You don't have to name your panels, but I'm just doing it just to make it a little bit clearer. So I want to have four of them. So when I click add panel, it's gone and created four draw faces. They're all up here. And you can see the grain directions going horizontally. You can see the arrows pointing left to right really. Um, what I'll also do is I'll add in a couple of uh, door, door faces we'll call. Um, these are going to be 400 by 600 and we'll have grain direction on them going the same way and we'll just map two of them. So now I've got two doors. Now I've got to put them on something. So what I'm going to do is add a sheet of plywood. Let's say I've just gone to the shop and I've bought a new one, 2400 by 1200. Um, it's got a drip. Actually, we'll go without a grain direction, show you how, what happens. Now I can click auto sort, but it's not going to put any of these panels onto this sheet of plywood simply because the plywood doesn't have a grain direction set on it. So it doesn't know what way to place them. So to fix that, we'll just double click on the sheet of plywood and we'll say that the grain's running horizontally. Now you can see that the grain shows up on it. And when I click auto sort, it goes and places them on there. Now straight away, you can see that this isn't a great use of material. But what you can do is just hit the auto sort button again and every time you click it you'll get a new layout and there you go. It took three clicks and it's come up for me like this. Now obviously this is a very simple layout. There's only you know six panels here and they're all pretty small so they're going to fit pretty much anywhere. But um, it, that's just a quick example of how it works. And just to show you how it works, here's another layout that's a little bit more advanced. It's got some um, lengths of 2x4 and a sheet of plywood as well. Now you can see down the bottom that the the kerf is already set to 10 mil, but I can change that to say 25, which is about an inch. And when you hit auto sort again, you can see you get a much larger gap between all the panels. Um, so if I change that down to three mil, you can see the gap almost completely disappears. What else can we do? Um, let's say we wanted to add grain direction just to one of them. You can just double click on the panel when you get the edit menu for it, change the grain direction, hit auto sort and of course it won't place them because the sheet has got no grain direction set on it so we'll go and edit that as well add in the grain direction and when we hit auto sort now it can place them on there correctly and because the rear panel there has got no grain direction set that can go on any piece of wood and you can also change the way the label shows up if you don't like all the writing there and you want to make it just a little bit easier to read and lastly you can go to export your images and you can export them in color or in black and white and basically it just creates a PNG file it lets you know how many it's created you choose the folder that it goes in and then you can just print out those pictures or put them on your phone and look at them when you're in the shop so this is what they look like and it's basically a diagram of the piece of wood and then it lists all the panels that are on it now 
Now if I go and rotate this panel myself, you can see the grain direction is now going the wrong way. Now I'm allowed to do that because I'm overriding the system, but when I go and export the picture, it will remind me, or it will let me know that I've done something wrong here. So you can see that the grain direction on it is twice as dark as everything else. So you know that it's going to fit, there's no dramas with it fitting on the piece of wood, but you also know that you've got the grain direction running the wrong way. So there you go guys, that's fitted for you. Um, I hope you like it, I think it's a really, really useful program. Um, I've tried to keep the price as low as possible, so it's $19 Australian, which works out to be something like 15 US, or I think 10 pounds, something like that. And I think that that's a fair price for a tool which can save you money in the long run. Um, yeah. I'm Basically, I'm a tight ass and I would pay $19 for it, so that's why I think it's fair to charge that much. Um, if you have any issues, if you download it and you have any issues or questions or suggestions or anything, just send me an email. I'm more than happy to, uh, I'm going to keep developing it, so I'm more than happy to hear what you think about it. Um, I do still want to keep it as feature free as possible, but if there's something that should be in there, let me know. So that's basically it guys. I'll uh, leave you now and I'll probably leave you with a couple more links to, <laughs> to buy fit it. Um, let, me know if you have, let me know if you have any questions or comments and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.